Hi everyone, Bob Thomason here. Uh, this is my monthly update, or I do this about once a month, on my C60 use. I uh, try to do this to keep you informed, keep my viewers informed as to how I'm progressing with the C60, note any changes that I've got going, things of that nature. First of all, let me give you this disclaimer. This video is my personal experience and should not be taken as medical advice. I'm not a medical advisor or a medical professional and offer this as entertainment only. So do your own research before you make any purchase. Now, I've been on C60 now, I've been taking C60 for a little over a year. Um, and it's been, uh, it's been helpful in a lot of ways. I could cite a lot of things that I think it's, it's really helped me with. But when I started, I didn't have any real medical conditions. So I didn't have something that I was fighting. I had, I wanted to do it more as a prevention, uh, than as something that I was trying to get over a medical condition that I'd come up with that I was trying to get over. And many people I see seem to be trying to, to correct a medical condition of some sort, uh, and that's what, that's what gets them started on the C60. Uh, but that was not the case for me. I just wanted to be healthy and stay healthy and, and not interested in going the medical route, you know, on a lot of issues. Didn't want to have the issues to start with, so... That's one of the reasons I started taking C60. Which brings up another point. How long should you take it? You get started on C60, you're new to it. Um, how long should you take it? Well, C60 is, I treat it like a vitamin. You know, it's not a vitamin per se. But it is like a vitamin in that as long as you take it, it's working. And when you quit taking it, in two or three days, it's out of your system. So, in my mind, you take C60 from now on, you know. Uh, if you've got a medical condition that you want to correct, you get it corrected and then you want to get off the C60, hey, that's, that's your decision. That's not something, you know, that I would do, but that, that is your decision. So, think of C60 as you know, as you would taking vitamins and stuff. If you're new to C60 and you've got a condition that you're you're wanting to see if C60 will correct it, give it some time. Some people, uh, as I've seen, will notice a difference when taking C60 in just a few days. Other people, depending on the condition that you've got, what's going on, hey, it may take a, a couple of months or longer, but I'd say at least a two-month run before you decide if C60 is right for you. So that way you give C60 uh, an opportunity to, to do what it does and your body to detox and get over some of these things. Another question that I've seen come up is how does C60 work? You know, what is it about C60 that makes it so unique? Well, C60 is, as I understand it, is an antioxidant. And it's very much like vitamin C, except it's 172 times more effective than vitamin C. Okay, it really works to eliminate free radicals. Free radicals is the causes inflammation, and that is that's the root cause of a lot of our issues. So, if you can eliminate inflammation, you can eliminate many different problems. Now. One side note with this, uh, and this is what, from what I understand, 
C60, if you're taking medication, C60 doesn't interact with any medicine. It doesn't make it, you know, enhance it or do anything to, uh, to cause problems with the medication. There's one exception that you need to be mindful of. If you're taking any type of blood pressure medication, your doctor needs to be aware if you decide to take the C60 because the C60 will also reduce uh, blood pressure because it reduces inflammation. So you may need to be off the blood pressure medication or at the very least you need a medical professional to guide you through this and make sure that your blood pressure doesn't go too low, okay? But it, it doesn't actually interact with the medication. It's just one of those things that you need to be mindful of. One last thing that uh, I think is important to cover in this is that recently there's been uh, a shortage of C60 raw material in large part because NASA has bought up a lot of the raw material uh, for some of its purposes and they've actually, as I understand it, have purchased one of the um, manufacturers. So it's going to take a little bit of time for the other manufacturers to gear up and take up the slack in this market. So it may lead to price increases. Also, for the period of time that I've been on C60, uh, the market, I don't know that the market has grown, you know, a lot, it has grown some, but I don't know that it has grown, you know, at a really rapid pace, but at some point, it's likely to take a pretty good spike up, and, you know, when it does, then the, the manufacturer is going to have problems again, so just be patient on this. Uh, like I say, the pricing may change, pricing may go up. But I think that's going to be short-lived uh, as the supply gets back out in the market as it needs to be. So that's just something to be mindful of. That's really all I've got for this video. I appreciate your, your watching my videos, and, and I get many very nice comments out of this, so I really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you're new, new to this, please hit the subscribe button down there. Also hit the bell next to it. That will let you know when I upload new videos, which I do periodically. Um, also in the, uh, in the link, I didn't mention this earlier, but I need to mention it now. For those of you who are not, who want more information on C60, um, there is a C60 support group on Facebook. I'll put a link to that um, in, this, in the description below here so that you'll have that link. It's a lot of very good information that, uh, you know, people are not trying to sell C60 there so much as they are sharing information because it's good that we share information as we have experience different things with the C60. That's very important, um, and I think you'll get a lot out of that. So I'll put that link in there. Also, if you'd like to donate to my channel, I would really appreciate that. I'll put a donation link in the description area. I also, I always include some uh, video links that I think are important for informational purposes and also some suppliers that I'm familiar with. Now there's probably a number of uh, additional suppliers that I don't list in here. I don't get any, I don't get paid for listing these suppliers. These are just ones that I know of that seem to be uh, reputable. I bought from all of the suppliers with the exception of the ones 
for pets. There's one in there that's for farm animals or pets. That that's that's what they specialize in. They haven't pur purchased from them, but they seem to be a reputable company. The others I have, and they all seem to be good quality suppliers. So with that, I'm going to say we'll chat later. <laughs>